Welcome to Ask Maureen, where we cover historical image analysis, genealogy, and how to work with your family photo collection. I'm Maureen Taylor, the photo detective, and I'll try to answer your questions. November 2017 edition of Ask Maureen. I'm Maureen Taylor, the photo detective. I find the family history in your photo mysteries. You can watch this video on my Facebook page, Maureen Photo Detective, or you can listen to it as a podcast on iTunes. This is my 11th episode this year, and I hope you've been listening in. If not, you can uh, go on the iTunes and download it, uh, listen to it whenever you want to. We have a lot of people say they listen to it when they're driving. Nice short podcast for you to listen to in that short drive. Don't forget, you can send me pictures you can send me questions live here on this Facebook live with be live TV and the questions will appear on the screen and Daniel and I can answer them. Today's guest is Daniel Horowitz of myheritage.com. We're going to demo the my heritage discovery tools, especially the one for photographs. Of course, Daniel, right? That's and it. He, he showed me how it works a couple of months ago, and I think this is so cool that I'm glad that we have him as a guest and he can demo it for us. Uh, so, Daniel, I'm going to let you tell me what to do. We're going to share the screen. Yeah, well, in the meantime, let me thank you, Maureen, for the invitation. And uh, 11 is a very nice number. It's actually my lucky number, so I'm pretty sure we're going to do it great. And uh, especially for the opportunity to really show people how to uh, work with this uh, instant discoveries and photo discoveries on uh, my heritage. So, okay. yeah, go ahead. Um, we're actually sharing my own personal website. So privacy is not an issue for this uh, recording. I already uh, allow <clears throat> people to go in. And uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, this is the home page of uh, my heritage in one of its versions. Uh, and, and the reason for the, for starting here is because I wanted to let everybody know, uh, how important are uh, images and photos for uh, my heritage and for genealogy as well. Uh, you can see on the corner, uh, a photo of my family. And sometimes this is actually the way uh, that you recognize family members, like everybody who is part of this branch of the family will have a copy of that image. That is the family uh, image passed from generations to generations to all the branches. So yeah, photos are, are really important for the genealogy research. So from this page or from any page, actually, you can go into the discovery menu exactly and then you will see down there the instant discoveries okay and uh what i wanted to show everybody and to uh let everybody understand is what are those instant discoveries and uh if you can do me a favor and just start or click where it says all the discoveries because these are actually part of two things <clears throat> let's start from the beginning the instant discoveries are based on an, a previous technology that my heritage had for many, many years called smart matches. That's right. We detect the people in your tree with the details that you provide to us. We try to find other individuals that matches those criteria on other people's family tree. And we bring you those matches. Uh, so here you can actually enjoy uh, contacting the other uh, person who is building a tree and also getting more information of your individuals. This is a one-to-one -one technology, meaning that uh, one individual in my tree will get a match with one individual in your tree. Mm -hmm. So based on this technology, we're able to detect that not only we have that individual that matches both trees, but also you may have a branch, a totally new branch for me in your tree. The instant discoveries will allow me 
to bring all that branch up to 50 individuals in one click. And then I will be uh, growing my family tree. But we realize almost immediately that we were losing some kind of information because I can get a branch from your tree and I can get more details about my people. But what if I already have everything from those individuals? Right. And the only thing that I'm missing is an image. And you can actually see in the screen right now that a few of my matches are actually matches that don't have images in the other family tree. So my heritage split this into two, into personal discoveries and uh, photo discoveries. So now if you click on the photo discovery part, you will see only matches that are, the only thing that I'm gaining from the match is an image. Those are individuals, those are people in my tree, which the information is exactly the same as in your tree or somebody else's tree, but I'm missing an image. I'm missing a photo. And uh, over there, I will be able to view the, uh, the discovery that's, that was prepared for me. And a discovery can include up to 10 different images uh, from up to 10 different websites. It's all combined for me based on the proximity of the person uh, in my tree. And that, of course, will also set the interest. Like I will be more interested in people closer to me than branches that are uh, in another uh, far away. So, so Daniel, is it possible that these photo discoveries are people that are putting photographs online, but might not have an entire like information on some of these people in their family tree. Uh, yes. Oh, that's yeah. Like, if if you only have like uh, like some names and uh, and and the, again the technology, the matching technology detects that uh, that it's a match. Mm-hmm. And and of course, not every Daniel Horowitz out there is going to be a match. But even if you don't know a lot, a lot about uh, Daniel Horowitz, if it's enough that you know the name of the parents, the name of other siblings or the kids or spouse of Daniel to create what we call the basic family. And, and that basic family, that combination of names is what assures us that this is really your person. person. Okay. Okay. Uh, and how many how many of these matches can you have in a single day? Well, you can receive multiple matches. You can okay. receive thousands of matches. Actually, the biggest uh, concern or the biggest uh, uh, per people uh, complain is the amount of matches that we're bringing. <laughs> Now that's a problem to have. Yeah, it, it could be overwhelming, and and we're trying not to uh, overwhelm people. Uh, but still, uh, people need to go over those matches, both if it's the personal or the photo matches. Make sure that this is really your family and your people, the people that you are interested on, and and accept or reject the different uh, the different matches. So now, uh, as what? I was. Well, yeah, go ahead. Question. What happens if someone has watermarked their images and then they upload them? The 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 photo discovery thing still works, but it because it's reading the caption, correct? Exactly, exactly. And, and this is one uh, call that I have for all the genealogies out there. Because first of all, uh, take pictures, digitize all the images that you have from your family, and upload them to your family tree. But yeah. that is not enough. You actually need to tag the individuals in the photos. And I know many people that have uploaded thousands of pictures out there, but never tag them. So we really don't know who is in that image. And, and we need those tags to work in order to understand and, and be able to match those faces to other people in, in family trees. That's great. So right now you have 20 photo discoveries. That's right. And each of them uh, has multiple uh, matches or multiple photos 
that I can uh, I can take advantage. You see, like the first one has eight, the second one has eight, and and it can go up to ten. Uh, and again, depending, we try to gather images from uh, a lot of people, a lot of many websites, many uh, many family trees, uh, but still presented to you in an organized way by branches. So even if it's coming from different websites, this is a specific branch in your family uh, that you can accept or reject. Right. And when you're talking about websites, you're talking about family tree websites on myheritage.com. That's right. That's yes. Right. <laughs> and this organizes it so you're not overwhelmed with all of these images coming in and you don't know which family tree they're attached to. Yes, exactly. That's, that's beautiful. And, and, and the first thing that we can do right from here, and I, I will encourage you, please, to, to just do, you see in the upper uh, right corner, a small X uh, on, on the first yes. discovery. Yes. So just click over there, and that will uh, prompt you to uh, reject this match for you reject whatever this match. Reason. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, and, and it's not necessarily that it's a bad one. Uh, yeah, you need, did you click the, the X? You want there? me to view the discoveries first, though, correct? No, I want you, I want you first to click that X. That on X. The corner. Yeah, the X. The X mark, mark the spot. It says reject this discovery. Yeah, and, and this, most of the time, will be because really that branch of my tree is not my best interest and there it goes. so i don't care yeah that much and and that's it that uh, branch those images are gone and we will not bring them to you again so, so you we don't... understood that that's it right and so by clicking that x you don't have to click on each image you can click on the entire branch of the tree that's right oh, that's makes okay. it much more so, so yes, so now I, I do want you to view that discovery, that next discovery that we have over there. And, and you can also see that most of the images that we're presenting here are, are faces of people, but this will be like my second call to all the genealogies out there. And I know that some people really like and love to do that, uh, but I personally really hate when I have a picture of somebody and then it's just a document or a tombstone or a coat of arms. Uh, I prefer to really see the faces of, uh, of the individuals out there. Now, I totally understand that photograph and Maureen, this is your expertise. I think uh, first photograph, it's uh, 1800 something. The, this one right here? The no, no, and the photograph at, at, in general. When, when on, your, first... on your homepage or the one right here? No, this is a general question for oh. you. Oh, <laughs> when are photographs, when, photographs, when begin, photographs started? They start, um, they're commercially Late successful 1800s. images as of 1839. Exactly. Right. So, uh -huh. so for people before that time, that year, we will, of course, will not have images. Well, so. we'll have engravings or paintings or sculptures or some other type of visual for some people. Yep. But for the average person, photography really takes off in the 1840s and 50s. And, and even that is, I say, it's preferably than having a tombstone as, as the face of the person every time. Yes, I'd much rather have a face of a person. Yeah, but uh, let's let's go to view the first discovery that you have over there. Sure. And and this will allow me to see each one separately. So here is where I will compare the information that I have on my family tree, uh, which is presented on the left. So I will know exactly who this person is. Uh, and on the right side of the screen, you will see the image. And you will be able uh, to have more information about it. And uh, I would like uh, to demonstrate something. So if, if you can go a little bit down, I think it's the third of, or the fourth image on the group. Keep going one more, a little bit more. And a little bit, a little bit more. We're looking for Edward. Eduardo. Uh, Eduardo. 
Uh, yeah, that's Eduardo. Okay, so you see on his picture or, or the picture we have where he appears, yes. you have other people over there and his face is, is tagged. It's clearly recognized like in Facebook or other places. Yes. But I want you to click on view, um, view the, exactly the original photo, the original image. And this will bring me the, uh, the original image full size, not only with Eduardo, but also with other people that are tagged in this photo. And, and again, this is the importance of trying and, and tagging as many people as you can. If you go with the mouse over the names on the right uh, side of the screen, you will see also where they are in the image. And now, the beauty... It says yeah. someone uploaded a photograph like this and they weren't sure of who the people on the left were. Once you've accepted this discovery, can you tag it? Yes. So yes. One, once I accept the discovery, what's going to happen, and, and <laughs> let's give our, our audience a, a scoop on this, uh, the original image is going to be copied into my website. Mm -hmm. And the face of the person, the tag on the image is going to be used as the personal picture. So I will not need, I will not see a silhouette anymore on my yeah. tree. And I will have this image and I definitely, and, and we're going to go there as well. Uh, we're going to show people like how to go back into the image and, uh, and tag the individuals over there. But before we go there, yes, let's close this window. Uh, and again, you can see over each photo that we're telling you where this image is coming from. Yes. Uh, it may come from different websites, as we said before, managed by different individuals in different countries. That's what and, that says right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And from here, you can even go and visit that website. Or if you go uh, over any name of an administrator, you will be able uh, to see a pop-up uh, menu mm -hmm. that will allow you to contact that person and actually ask him, like, before I'm taking photos and taking information, like, why do you have this photo of my great-grandfather? Like, we must be connected, we must be related somehow. And you uh, ask them to identify the picture. <laughs> yeah, if you want to show what happened when you go on top of the name of the person yeah, uh, with the mouse, uh, no, more to the right. That one? Uh, no, no, the name of the manager. What says oh, the uh, the administrator. Manager. Oh, oh, yeah, a little manager. bit more. Exactly. So oh, you, you can, can contact them. That's right. So even before I decide to take or note the pictures, I can contact him and I can establish a communication. That's now, this, this is the time to tell all our audience as well that in order to accept and, and to copy those images into my website or to contact the other person, I do need a paying premium plus or complete account on my heritage. So photo discovery is, is a, it's a pain, uh, a paid, not a pain, uh, a paid feature. Uh, premium plus or complete is needed. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to show is that this is not an oral nothing. Like, for example, let's say that I don't want to take that photo that you have from that lady. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to so go back I to can, that. Back in. Yeah, I can yeah. very easily uncheck the orange mark in the corner. Complete account is what you said, correct? Yes, complete account. Uh, yeah, premium plus or complete. All right, let's go back to your main page. Uh, yeah. There we go. So we want to accept yeah, one of these. Uncheck, uncheck uh, the upper right corner of the third one, I prefer, if you don't mind. I don't <laughs> mind at all. Floor. Uh, yeah. So, when, yeah, go ahead. Click over there. And yeah. what is going to happen is that I'm agreeing, agreeing on 
taking all the other images but this one. I say. So uh, it's, I'm sorry, one correction, it's a premium plus or complete, not oh. premium as it says on the, uh, on the captions. Let me uh, fix yeah, that. Like that. <laughs> and, and that's happened when you're alive. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> uh, so again, the photo discoveries allow you to pick and choose which images you want. Like the fact that we present you with eight, 10, whatever amount of images you're getting, it doesn't obligate you to take all of them. Uh, if you want to uncheck, uh, like the, the fourth one, yeah, that one with the two maracas, the guys over there. Uh, okay. So once I have uh, gone through all the images and I agree to take all the other ones, uh, you can just click the very big orange button on the top. That says add all six photos to your tree. Yeah, and, and you can notice that the, the number change. Like yes. when we start this, uh, it was eight. I didn't want to take two of them. Uh, so now I have six photos on my uh, website. And this is how the photos are uh, presented. Uh, by the way, before we move forward, uh, we did a change uh, very recently. And mm -hmm. I have heard some people are uh, asking, like, uh, where are the photos gone? Uh, we used to have on the main menu right there in between the discoveries and the DNA, we used to have uh, photos. Right. Uh, we put it now under family tree. So if you go over the word without clicking, uh, if you go right there, uh, you my see photos. the menu and you see right there my photos. Perfect. Excellent. So uh, six photos were added to my website, uh, each one with a source citation, proper source citation, so I know where I took those images from. And I can go back into that. Uh, but right now, let's uh, click on the first one with the, where the group is. Yes. Let's click over there. And let's review that image, which I didn't have uh, before. As you can see, uh, I have one person tag right there. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about tagging other individuals. And, and again, this is my call to all our viewers, whenever you upload a picture on my heritage, please try to tag them uh, with all the names of the people that you know. Uh, so let me guide you through this also, uh, Maureen. We have a Just question, to... Daniel. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, when you copy a photo to your site and add more tags, does it show up on all the copies of the photos that exist on the site? In other words, does that person that didn't have those people identified then get this information? Uh, well, yes, not automatically. This is actually a very good uh, question. By me tagging more individuals in this image, those names are going to be discoverable by the technology. Okay. So the person that actually uploaded this picture that may not have these individuals on his tree tagged with an image will receive my tags into his tree. I see. So so yeah, this is this is collaboration, like capital letters collaboration. Well we are working here together. I have to say that that's one of the things I really like about the My Heritage. I call it the the photo dashboard over here because there is a way to collaborate. Um, I think there's a way to write your comments. So if someone else sees this picture, they can add information that you might not have in addition to the tagging. Well, yeah, in the way I use this uh, and very useful for multiple things besides uh, what you just said, like re recording the history, uh, I can write over there a question. And then all the family members uh, of my site are going to receive that on their emails. And then they can come to the photo and they can answer my question. Even if somebody knows when this picture was taken, where it was taken, who are these individuals that I have not been able to tag. And then they can help me 
tagging more individuals in the photo. I love it. Yeah. All so, right. So how do we tag another person? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Add another person. Exactly. Just click on that button and uh, just move that, let's say, to the little boy uh, down. And I like to that just one? close. Yeah. To just close a little bit more the corners to the actual face of the person. Very and easy. You just drag the corners and, and yeah. crop the and image. Good. And, and let's use my name. Start writing Daniel over there. And you can see that we're pulling information from the family tree. So actually, my heritage is now looking for all the Daniels in my tree. Uh, you will need to write probably or to go down. No, just write space H-O. And exactly. I'm there. So just click on my name and my face. I already have a personal photo. Uh, so that photo will not be tagged as my personal one. But yes, go click OK. And you see how on the right side, the list is just growing now with my name as well. But if and you want to remove it, you just click the X. Please go ahead. It's that easy. So it's easy to edit what you, like if you think you know who it is and then you write a comment and your cousin says this not the right person, you have the wrong person, you exactly. can delete that and then add the new information. Yeah. And Great. if the person that I tagged is also a member of my website, he's going to receive an email saying, hey, Daniel uh, tagged you on a photo come here and see this photo. The person may probably have never seen that photo also. That's maybe so. Yeah. So again, we're, we're all for collaboration, working together, spread the, the genealogy uh, among all our family members and, and preserving all those images for future generations. Otherwise, uh, if I'm like back in Israel and the rest of my family is in another place of the world, I, I cannot share properly uh, all the content of, of our genealogy. That's right. And, you know, a few years ago, I was your photo ambassador for, <laughs> for um, my heritage, and I'll just share that link. I found it. It was still online. Well, so, good old day. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Myheritage.com forward slash photos. And they have a whole page talking about family photographs. Yeah. There's several different, I think, videos. And I was on there yesterday. It was, it looked great. And another question that I get a lot uh, for, for the discoveries is, is like people are, are a little bit concerned that they need to go into the website every day or, or every week to see the new discoveries that we do. Right. And uh, the answer will be no. Of course, we would love you to come to uh, the website every day, every hour. Uh, right. But you can rest assured that every week, more or less, you should receive an email with the new discoveries that we, uh, that we have. And, and we have like thousands of, of images uploading and, and be, being tagged every week. And, and the technologies uh, scanning all those names and all those tags in order to uh, find that on, on your tree and present you with the proper discoveries that, uh, that we make for you. That's right. Yeah. I like the way my heritage works with photographs. It's very, yeah. very nice. I love the way you can connect with cousins via pictures. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, and does anybody have any questions before we, for Daniel or for myself, the, before we wrap up, Daniel, do you have anything to add? What's coming up at My Heritage for the American yeah. holidays? Is there uh, a DNA before special? We go there, and before we go there, and we will go there, no worries. Right. Uh, but another trick that uh, I like to do with photos, let's say that I don't have any, I don't know a specific person here, I can still tag an individual and just put a name, unknown one, and then just yeah, go, go right there. Like, I don't know who that guy is. So I can tag it with any name, unknown one, and I can still click on the orange button and, and tag him actually as that. 
And then I can ask the question, does anybody knows who this person is? Okay. So we have unknown one. We're going to yeah. add that. Got it. Yeah. And, and then we're going to go down here. And I'm going to ask my family, does anybody knows who this unknown one person is? It's much easier than trying to tell people, well, you know, uh, the lady in the third row, the, the fourth from left to right behind the gentleman with the hat. <laughs> So you, you just have the tag over there. You just put your mouse over the image or the name and you see exactly who the person we're talking about. Right. There it is right there. It yeah. makes it so much simpler. That's the idea. Now, uh, we are improving the technologies uh, every, every time and every, every, almost every month uh, when we can. Uh, but coming up, uh, really, we're doing focus on the DNA. Uh, of course, that we're having some special prices. Uh, actually, now for Thanksgiving, we have uh, very good uh, discount prices on uh, both the premium plus and the complete account and also for the DNA. So you can visit MyHeritage and take advantage of them uh, right now. Thanksgiving DNA and membership specials. That's right. Especially now, it's, uh, it's, it's the season, right? Uh, you get together with all the family around that delicious turkey. That's right. And I have to say, I've taken my My Heritage DNA kit. And I have I'm a, sorry? I, I have taken the My Heritage DNA kit. Yeah. Uh, but what you should be doing is really taking a lot of pictures on yes. those uh, yes. family yep. reunions, on that uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner, or any occasion uh, where you get together with uh, with family members, just take images, take pictures, upload them to my heritage, please. And you can you can add the keywords to this photo dashboard, as I call it, in your comments field. You can add a a story. Uh, can you add, do you have plans in the future to add any other type of, uh, well, image some technology important information? Yeah. Some important information of the image will be on top of the image. You can see the name of the image and go a little bit, uh, scroll a little bit up. No, no. Okay, good. So you see the name of the image and you see on, on the left side, uh, also, uh, the date and the place that is also very useful information. Uh, wait, no, no. On the top right said what it's, uh, I'm, uh, and it says right edit, title, date and place. So this particular exactly. image doesn't have that information yet. Yeah. But go ahead click over there. All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then you can put over there a date and you can put over there a place. We'll just, put, that we'll just put today's date and we'll put. Yeah. Obviously, uh, the event didn't took place today. I will uh, suggest people to use the, the date of the event and not the day that the. Right. So we'll put uh, this looks like the 1970s, 80s, 80s, 1980s with the shoulder yeah. pads. And uh, I can tell you that that was taken in Panama City, Panama. That was a family gathering that uh, that branch of the family had there. And, and this is also important for, for, the, uh, for the family history. So you're seeing the people, you're seeing the faces and in a place and a time and it's all, uh, all together. All right, well... I want to tell people if they use this and they make an outrageous discovery, something they did not know or see a picture that they did not know before that I would like them to tell me about it on my Facebook page. And then I'll tag you, Daniel, using Please. technology and we'll do a little sharing. Of, yeah. uh, we, we love to hear about success stories. We love to hear about the discoveries that people are doing with my heritage. Uh, after all, that's what we're here for. That's, that's right. We do the things. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us, Daniel, for describing and demoing the photo discoveries area. I hope you'll all 
try this with your family photographs and your family history and give my heritage a try. Uh, they could refer to themselves as the other guy. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, we love all the companies. We use them yeah. all. Yeah, we're all friends. But uh, all but friends. thank you very very much uh, for for this invitation, this opportunity. I I really love it. Yeah, and we'll be back next month. Well, actually, we're taking a break in December, but we'll be back mm-hmm. in January with the folks from Roots Tech 2018. That's going to be exciting. Very Are much. We're so. going there. I am. I wouldn't miss yeah. it. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Daniel. And all of you have a good day. Don't remember, sure. you can listen to this on Facebook. You can listen to it on iTunes. And be sure to send me your questions for next time around. Thank you. Thank you for watching and listening. You can submit your questions for future episodes using the Ask Maureen button on MaureenTaylor.com. Or through any of my social media contacts, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram as The Photo Detective, and on Facebook at Maureen Photo Detective. I hope you'll come back for the next show. Don't forget to send me your questions. <laughs>